What's Gucci everyone? It's been a while since I've made a video. I hope you guys like this one. This is another kind of Git help video and something really clever that I didn't think about but I learned today that I really want to show you guys. Now what I'm going to have is, well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside of this directory and I'm going to create a new one. And what this video is going to be about, <laughs> sorry I got off topic there, is about Git bisect. And what Git git bisect is a command that allows you to find an error when it was first introduced into your git commits. So imagine you know you're committing to git and you keep on you introduce an error at some point but you don't notice it at that time because you're human you may not have written a test for it or you know you just realize that you weren't accounting for something that you should have way later. And so you've introduced this bug but you've committed 40 times or you've committed a lot more times over that bug but you want to and but now you want to go back in your commits and you want to find that bug but the problem is you don't want you could reset and if you reset hard which is usually what you do to go all the way back to reset your working directory you lose all the previous commits so for instance if you think that you have to go back five commits to find the error but the error was only introduced two commits ago then you're going to lose the past five commits and not be able to see that that error was introduced two commits ago go back five commits lose all that code in between those commits and be and you won't know what the error is because the five commits you went back is when the code was perfectly working okay and so I'm going to show you guys a quick example of that. I also am going to have a link to a to a few articles, or just one I thought was really good, that describe this in writing so you can just read that and not listen to my nonsensical talk or my illiterate talk. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to start from scratch here. So I'm going to make a directory, and I'm just going to call it bisect. And I'm going to cd into bisect. And as you can see, I already made an example video. And so again, to start this off, we're going to use git init to initialize a git repository. And also, I'm going to make, I'm just going to make a simple file. I'm going to call it ex.rb, and I'm going to open it in Sublime. It could be any file, really. And so with ex.b, I'm going to do puts hello world. We're going to make my favorite program, the easiest program, hello world. And I'm going to do a git add dot git commit. I'm going to give it a commit message with the m switch first, commit. And that's good. I'm just going to commit. I'm not going to push it to a repository because bisect doesn't really work on that. So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply, I'm going to open up Sublime again. And we're going to introduce an error here. So I'm going to introduce a syntax error. And I'm just going to put a lot of stuff that Ruby doesn't take. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do git commit. And I'm going to give it the A switch so it applies everything that's already been added to the index stage like my uh, ex. RB. And so I'm just going to say for the sake of when we look at things error, I'm going to say I'm going to give it error introduced. Now in real program in real in real programming you never have a commit message like this, but it's just going to be easier to look back on things later when I'm showing you guys. But obviously you would never have a commit called error introduced because you're going to try to find that later. And so now I've committed it and let's open this again. And so let me just put a few so I'm, now I'm just going to um Again, keep on coding. And let's just say I was going blind because I am going blind. I have serious eye problems. Little tip of the day. And I just did not notice that I was uh, um, making that mistake. And so I just kept on committing like I'm going to do here. I'm just going to call this second commit. And I'm going to do that. And we'll just do it one more time. And I'm going to do puts one plus two because we don't know what that is. We need a computer to help us that out. And I'm going to commit one more time and we're gonna call this the third commit okay so cool so I've committed four times now and let's do that with a git lg and this is the it can be equivalent to git log but my git lg is pretty nice so as you can see here I have four commits each with different IDs and I have the second one being the error introduced and so now I go to run my program I do ruby ex.rb which you don't have to worry about it's a syntax error because I was very stupid and didn't decide to, to run it after every commit. And so I'm like, what's the error? And I don't know about syntax errors, or I don't know when I introduced this error, so I don't know what I'm doing, and I want to go back to when I first started typing the error. So now we're going to use that command I was talking about. So git bisect. And you actually have to do git bisect. If you, don't, if you just do this, it will give you an error. So you want to do git bisect start. <laughs> it's not that hard once you just do it a few times. So I do git bisect, and then if I do git status, it says you are currently bisecting, started from branch master. You can use git branch reset to set back to the original branch. Okay, so there we go. So now 
I'm now I need to do let me do get LG here because now what I need to do is I need to give a I need to do get bisect good and then slash bad but I need to do them with different lines so what I do is I give get bisect good and I want to give it a good commit so I want to give get bisect a commit that I know was good and I happen to know that the first commit was good it means that I had no errors there and then I'm going to do get bisect bad which is me which means I know at least the error started here, so I'm going to give it the last commit, and that's okay. And what git bisect does is the reason because it's called by is it's for binary search. It's going to figure out where your bad commit is by looking at, for instance, the middle, of selecting one of the the middle of these commits, saying is this commit bad? If it is, it's going to look. If it, if this commit's bad, it's going to keep on looking lower down the chain. And then if it's good, in this case, it's going to keep on looking up above the chain because it, it's trying to find it it's trying to you know middle its way down and so it'll keep kind of halving everything just like a binary search tree does if you know about that and um it will until it'll give you the bad commit so now it'll say now that i've given it the bad and good commit it says bisecting zero collisions left to test after this roughly so what it did here is it automatically actually put me on, as you can see here, my branch is different. It put me on the second commit. So it put me right here, decided to take me to E5, that commit. And so it's basically saying, okay, I transport you to this commit. I want you to look over it and tell me if this is right or not. So I'm going to look at um, ex.rb, and obviously there's an error there too. So what I can do now is I can do git bisect bad and so if the air if there was no errors here i would do get bisect good and it would go the other way but in this case there's still errors so i do get bisect bad and so now as you can see it says it's taking me back to the commit where the error was introduced pretty cool huh so now it you know it did the binary search and it went between e598 here right here and it went and looked at you know b18 because it knew that was the good commit and said oh what's in the middle fcb so now it says the error so now it's the commit where the error is introduced. So look, yeah, so that's where I introduce the error. But now, like, so, but that is where the error is introduced. So I still know that's bad. So now what I can do, so then I'm going to still say git bisect bad. And so now what it does is the git bisecting is done. And that's because it is nowhere else to go here. Because I'm here and it can't split between FCB and B, between, you know, the first commit and the error introduced commit is what I'm trying to say. And because of that, it knows it's done. And then so it says, you know, FCB7 is the first bad commit. And that's right. That was the error introduced commit, right? It figured it out just through my simple decision making. And so if I do git LG, it will show you that. So since it figured that out now, that is where I my working directory is. If I do, sorry, sublime ex.rb, that is what the error I introduced. That's all the random stuff I put. And so I don't have all the code I've overridden on that or anything else. That is the error I introduced. So while it, it didn't fix my error, I am now back at the proper commit where my, where my error was first introduced because, well, one thing you could do is you could have, you know, you could have whatever your test file and the example in the documents below and I'll make another video shows you to automate a test file using git bisect but now I'm at that first I'm at that first commit and I can be certain I'm at that first commit as long as I've set my good and bad com commit parameters the endpoints properly well guys I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day